Crafters, welcome to the Crafty Corner. My name is Miss Lisa for the Fayette County Public Library. Our summer reading program is winding down. This is about the last week of the of our summer reading, and we are going to talk about the country of Morocco or Egypt or any of those places along the the top of Africa. It's very sandy there, very hot there, and camels are used a lot there. And so um, this is what we're going to be doing this week. You have a Morocco word search as well as just an African map for you to make your maze all the way through. I hope you've enjoyed these little learning packets that have gone with the crafts this summer. All right, in your packet, you are going to find lots of construction paper as well as some little cutout camels as well as a cutout palm tree head. And so for this project, we are thinking about the African sunset. And so we have these different colors and we're just going to layer them on the background here with the blue at the top um, and you can change these colors any way you really would like them but the yellow is a sort of our sandy color so you're going to take your scissors and sort of just make some waves on one side of your paper and as we layer these you only have to make the little waves on one side not both sides so on this one we're just going to take our scissors and just sort of go up and down and up and down just so that we have some different um, textures and layers here. So we're gonna layer this with that. Then we're gonna take our red and we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna take our, take your scissors, just go up and down and make some little squiggles and just make sure you throw away your trash. And then for the blue, um, for the sky, the night sky, probably don't have to do anything at all. We're just gonna layer that. Now don't cut your, your squiggles too much because you need, need to have enough paper there to cover the whole thing. You're gonna want to use your white glue. And I think we'll go ahead and start with the blue once we've got them all cut. Remember boys and girls that we scribble. We really just go back and forth. You just need enough glue so that it will stick to the paper. Do not glomp it on there, make big, huge piles of glue. Take our blue, we're just gonna press it down onto the top of our background paper. Red was our next color. Scribble, 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 scribble. Scribble all the way across. Try to get those edges, because the edges are what's gonna pop up if you don't have enough glue there. Lay that there. Same thing with our next color, our next orange. We're just gonna keep scribbling and gather enough glue in the corners. See, and if you don't touch it where the glue is, you won't even get sticky with this project. All right, so we have our layers of our sunset and then we have our layer of our sand. Then we're just going to make a camel walk across the desert sand. All right. Tip this over and glue it down. Press it down. Might just want to keep pressing it so that it all lays flat and you see all these beautiful layers. All right, we're going to make a palm tree. To make a palm tree, we're just going to want to sort of curve this nice rectangle that they gave us. I'm just going to sort of trim away a little bit here. That's a nice big tall and skinny tree. Wow, he goes all the way to the top. I don't know if I, I want him that tall because then we're going to be able to put the top part of it there. So I guess we need to trim off this bottom part. Throw it away. All right, so then we're going to again, since we're using this construction paper on top of construction paper, it's best to use the white glue. I'm going to stick this palm tree off in the corner. Now he could go on the other corner or he could go in the middle. That part is totally up to you. We'll take our palm tree head and cover it with glue and just glue it right down on there. See, it comes off the paper a little bit. That's okay. Then we're going to have our little camels. And so we have different sized camels that are going to be walking in the sunset. And you can put them on there however you want. All right. 
And then we're also in the background are going to have some of the like the pyramids and it's all in black because it's silhouetted because of the sun setting. And so I am just going to make a triangle. And that's okay. Then I'm going to make another triangle. And I mean, you can have more than you can have more than two if you want, because I've got enough paper. We could actually have a smaller one, one triangle for each camel. Okay. And that one's not quite the right kind of triangle. That's a little better. All right. So then once we get all this glued on here, we are sort of done. And that sort of helps you understand a little bit about Africa and some of the countries that are in Africa. Egypt and Morocco are both up near the top of Africa where the Sahara Desert is. Okay, so we're gonna glue that down and we're gonna just remember to scribble the glue on and try to grab it where there is no glue. We have some pyramids in the background. This is just a really pretty Pretty craft with all these bright colors. All right, glue on that little one down too. And I mean, if you wanted to draw some water in here, maybe my camels need to be going toward the tree. Hey, that looks, that look, that has more space. That looks better. Should the mama be leading? I think we'll let the little baby be leading. So we'll put some glue here on the back of the camel. Glue it down. Maybe he's resting for the night under the shade of the palm tree. And then there's the next camel and the big one. Have anybody ever re rode a camel? Hmm. I have not, but I know there are some places that give you a chance to ride camels. That might be a fun activity someday. All right. Glue all that down. And then there's our Moroccan sunset. And our little camels. That looks really pretty. All right, boys and girls, that's what it will look like when you're done or something similar. Thank you so much for watching the Crafty Corner and I'll see you again next week for another craft. Bye now. <laughs>